In this video, we'll cover how to manage instruments in the toolbar. The toolbar for the various instruments is tabbed. Right now, I'm accessing the S&P E-Mini because it has a blue line beneath it. If I click on another instrument, here for example on the bonds, you can see now that the bond chart is accessed and opened in the main window. Let's click back on the ES. You can also add new instruments here by clicking on the plus sign. The number of instruments you can add is dependent on your broker. If you have several instruments you have added all the way across, you can go to the right hand side, click on the arrow for the drop down and access the various instruments. If we click on the NQ, we will now be accessing the E-mini NASDAQ chart. Now suppose you have multiple monitors, like many of us do, and you want to add different instruments on the different monitors. You can do that by popping some of these instruments out from the tabbed area. Select your desired instrument by left click and holding, dragging and dropping any place on your screen and it will open up. Or you can simply double click on the instrument. I'm going to double click on the bonds. And you can see that it popped out into a new bookmap chart. You can see this chart is a little different from the main chart. The main chart has file, connections, settings, and help at the top left. You can resize and configure this chart to whatever you like and place it in the desired monitor. If I click the close button here, it won't close the instrument. It will only close the chart. When I click close, it'll pop back into the main window here. If I close the instrument in the main window by clicking the X here, it will close the instrument entirely and I would need to add it back to the main window by clicking on the plus button here. I will lose all of the previously recorded data I had from that instrument. Now let's say I want to rearrange the instruments tab. For example, I want to move the ES tab to the left side of the window. I can left click hold and drag into place. If I like the layout that I have, including the multiple monitor setup, I can save the workspace. Click on File and Save Workspace here. We can also save the workspace as and make a copy of it. We can open a previously saved workspace or create a new one here. For different chart settings, let's look at our ES settings. You will see I have the indicator panel down below, specific volume settings for our dots, and the columns over here are set up in a certain way. Now let's look at the NQ. I don't have the indicator panel. The dots are much larger, set to show total volume instead of delta volume, and we also have a different configuration for our columns. Let's suppose we want the NQ chart to be like our ES chart. You can do that by clicking just to the right of the toolbar in the blank space. Right click and you'll get a drop down menu. Click Chart Settings and then Inherit Chart Settings From. You can search here older chart settings from previously expired contracts and that's a quick way to get settings from your older contracts or I can close this, right click again, and I can inherit the settings from charts that are currently open. I'll click on the ES settings, and you'll note that my NQ chart has the same configuration as my ES chart. The indicator panel is now here. The size of dots now match the ES. We have delta volume instead of total volume and the columns are the same as the ES.